Harry Peacock. Excited to be uh, here and back in the team again and ready to play on home soil again. Yeah, yeah, excited. Uh, got good memories from this place from, from last year. Obviously had a few good wins here last year and um, I, it builds confidence and excitement, I think, having that in the background and then added to that the fact that we're playing number one Brazil, number one in the world. So yeah, it's a pretty cool feeling coming into this weekend. Now, of course, you missed the uh, the Brazil leg of the overseas tour, so you must be itching to get a chance to play against the top team in the world. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I played Brazil once in a practice game before London, and uh, that's the only time I've ever played Brazil. So it'd be cool to get a chance to play them in a real in a real match for for World League. And um, yeah, disappointed I wasn't there to play them in Brazil because that would have been a cool atmosphere in itself, but I'm hoping the Aussie crowd can bring a good atmosphere here as well. So we miss the ball always, always in his direction, always in his direction, and we miss the ball, even if the ball was always in the same direction, and it's not that we miss the ball, is that in eight seconds we are not able to play the high ball and play the high ball with the sense. So we miss the ball and we not play attack. And when we have the ball to attack, we just bump, 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 miss the ball. So that's a really no sense uh, game. I don't know where you, I don't know where the situation starts, but if you don't come back and play with the sense, it's possible to play ball. I've watched Brazil play plenty of times, so yeah, I know a lot. Like everyone who plays volleyball knows a lot about what, uh, what Brazil do, and we obviously they're obviously the best for a reason. They they're really good. They're a good team and have a lot of skills and a lot of attributes that help them get to the to the top. But no team is undefeatable, so uh, you know we we got to find their weaknesses and we got to work to our strengths. And if we do that, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, every match is a test, I, I guess. Um, this probably being one of the tougher ones. Uh, Brazil is of a higher calibre than any team that we'll play in in the uh, qualification process. So um, it'll give us an idea of where we're at in terms of world rankings. Um, and uh, yeah, just just playing against the best teams is how you get better. So that's what we'll be getting out of this weekend. We can do everything perfectly. It's not this the point, but we, we do something with the sense. I mean, if we have a suffering position in part, because you always have fun, we cover fine. So you stay close to the line, he stay close to you, and the Libro stay close to him. If he serve on the other side, he can and then it's good. We give a sense of this, no? and if he serve it well, we keep the ball high, and then we play the high ball, and then we play the high ball. Don't, don't spike the ball on the net. Play the high ball. So don't give a sense of what you're doing. Don't just. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Huh? And were you surprised, given that you, you missed the Brazil league? By the time you joined in Italy, of course, and there was that fantastic win over over Italy, were you surprised how much the team had progressed since Adelaide, which I think we all now agree was a missed opportunity in many ways for us? Uh, not really surprised. No, um, I'm not like. I think we all knew we had that, had it in us, uh, and we still know we have it in us. We know we can beat Brazil, we know we can beat Italy. It's just trying to find that higher level all the time and trying to bring it, bring it out, not at the right times, but all, all the time. Um, so it wasn't surprising in that way. And also, traditionally, I think throughout the season, we always get better and better, like most teams, but I think we have quite a, a steep improvement uh, most, most seasons. and. Uh, which is generally good because we have the important competition at the end of the year. So, For me, it looked like everyone was trying to solve the problem by themselves. We had one issue with the reception, who was talking to themselves, one issue with the seating, one issue with the, the opposite. And then we had a timeout, and then we come back, and there's one person standing over there, another person standing over there, one standing here, one standing here, and everyone's by themselves. We, we don't solve problems by ourselves. We solve problems as a team. Right? So we've got some th issues that are going on, 
So yeah, man, I'll send a comment, get that one in the middle, and then have a little chat. I'll take the one in the middle, mate, and be careful of the line. Or um, the setter comes up, yeah, I'll just try and put the ball a little ball in the net. We resolve it together. We don't just go and think, oh, okay, next ball, he'll do that, he'll do this, and, and so on. All right? That's what a team does. When it go gets tough, we get together and we fight it out together. We don't go our separate ways. I'm probably feeling the best I've felt in quite a while, really. Like, everyone's obviously got soreness and injuries, as I always say, but uh, yeah, feeling pretty good, feeling eager. Back to how you were at 2012, London? Uh, can't remember back that far. <laughs> London, nothing mattered because all the adrenaline, you didn't have injuries anyway, so probably not quite as good as having adrenaline flooding through your body. So. Well, mate, uh, looking forward to this weekend. As you said, we all remember last year here and what a great atmosphere it was and what a great result. Let's hope we can recapture some of that this weekend. Yeah, looking forward to seeing the Sydney crowd again. Hopefully we can please them again.